Hey, what's up? I'm Jack 79 here. And today I want to give you a full resort tour rundown of the DVC room and area of the Grand Floridian Resort. This is our first time staying here. This is the flagship resort of the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. We have uh, have 15 years of experience traveling these parks. And this is, like I said, the first time we've, that we've stayed at the flagship resort, mainly due to price. But with the power of DVC, we finally have the opportunity and we spent uh, a night here. So I've gathered up so a whole bunch of footage to let y'all know how I felt about it. First thing about the Grand Floridian, most definitely is the atmosphere. Absolutely stunning. It's like a Victorian Alba setting. And that was really cool. Kind of reminded me of like a set time, maybe like the early 1900s or so. Uh, kind of remind me of like maybe something from like a history book, uh, something of that nature. So very, very cool atmosphere. A little bit boring, if I want to be completely honest too. The reds and the whites, not really a huge color pattern going on at the Grand Floridian. Uh, white picket fences all galore for sure. Um, definitely the, the differences between the actual hotel buildings and the main hall and the restaurants looked very similar to one another. It's a water fountain. Give me a look at the pool here in front of the main hall. It's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy here. This is kind of your more chill, relaxed pool. We didn't unfortunately get a chance to swim here. Just didn't have the time. We were only here for one day and it was during the park day. But, you know, nevertheless, it was still pretty cool to look at. And just some artwork here as you walk into the main hall. Here is the main hall itself. Kind of looks like the interior of like a tower or like a cathedral and a castle. Like very Italian church, maybe like a Notre dame isk type, you know, architecture going on through the inside there. There's some intriguing decorations here on the upper floor that I found. So this looks like a jail with a hamster wheel connected to it. I don't know, I just found it fascinating. It's a little children's area to watch movies Little Mermaid was playing. But another big draw of the Grand Floridian, I think, is probably all the shopping. Now we have a Cursure Clues on the main floor. Pretty cool. This big golden bird cage I've always found interesting. I never really understand why it's there, but it's probably the biggest kind of icon statue that they have there. The piano in the middle of the show floor as well. Stone horse uh, contraption going on here. It kind of reminds me of Troy. I think that's what it's based off of, I'm pretty sure. We have some of the shopping on the shop on the main floor. Interest that I just showed you. Some Grand Floridian tea sets and purses. It's kind of funny if they ask if those purses were Gucci. I don't know. They might be. They might be, sweetheart. And then we go into our hotel hall here. And as soon as you open up the door to the main hall, uh, you get like a little tea set there. I uh, kind of show you the upper you know, flooring, some paintings, kind of the Victorian Alba style again. Pretty cool. Uh, we were in 7428. And now time for a room tour. Now we show you the bathroom with the sink set, gold and white marble. That's pretty cool. What's up? What's going on? And then I show you just a carnival style painting there. That's pretty fancy. Pretty cool, man. A very pretty, very laid back, very quiet. You know, everything was crystal clear and clean. You know, more of that gold pattering for the plumbing at the shower and the shower handle and the faucets all like a dark bronze gold finish there. It's really cool. You got some blue uh, outering for the shower wall. You got your patented Disney and the shampoo styles going on there. You got some Disney soap and mouthwash and whatnot. I think the mouthwash is new. I've never seen that before. You got a safe going on here. Also, just your hangers uh, and extra pillow and blankets if you so needed it. Uh, coffee, you know, glasses, mugs. Uh, I definitely got myself some bourbon and utilized those glasses 100%. That was very tasty. Then we just, you know, get a look at the TV here. Welcome home, Jackson family. That's always a nice touch. Fancy music playing. Gotta love that. You know, some more of the paintings here. Some Mary Poppins action going on there, if you can tell. Then we have another queen size bed. It was very fluffy, very comfortable. Definitely no complaints there at all. Another painting on the side of the two queen size beds there. Got a little uh, shelf seal there in the middle of them. You can plug your phone.
phones where the desk phone is and then probably the biggest draw of this room the view definitely the view you can see the you know, space mountain tron cinderella castle definitely a perfect uh, draw to sit on the patio set and see you know, happily ever after the fireworks as well get a little quick zoom in action going on here to show you what you're looking at that's so cool then we have the alexa for disney again as well it's pretty cool to see that again we, we really didn't utilize it that much but it's still pretty cool just some chandelier action at the ceiling of the room uh, i don't know why i show that off just because why not you know i was getting kind of tired so i figured it was time to lay down for a second and just relax and appreciate the scope of the room and just appreciate you know that we're actually on vacation it was time to enjoy ourselves uh, this tree pink tree really spoke to me uh covered with the petals uh, it was right in front of our hotel building so it's such a beautiful landscape to capture then we decided maybe it was time to get a bite to eat uh, but unfortunately Unfortunately, we didn't really get anything here to eat, but this is just your normal food uh, service, quick service uh, action going on in this little cafeteria here. And then uh, we finally got some piano action from our piano player. Pretty sweet right there, man. It's always a cool thing about the Disney resorts. So nine times out of 10, it's always some cool, you know, little backdrop, always kind of something going on around them. Just so kind of like this chess set, this giant chess set on the Grand Floridian Beach uh, <laughs> play area, man. Gotta love that, it's super cool. We get a cool viewing of kind of some bodegas that we have on the beach set here as well. We didn't partake in those, unfortunately. Just didn't have the time to really do that, but you know, it's cool to see, to see the many options. It was a little cool monument of a donor to the Grand Floridian. That's super cool. Kind of like, looks like a lighthouse to me. Uh, we have a splash area here, kind of based off Alice in Wonderland, Land, the Mad Hatter. It was really cool to see. We got kind of like a gold, uh, yellow uh, finish there. As you can see, definitely got some uh, cat action, Mad Hatter. And then we have the large pool, kind of, kind of rock canyon formation here for the large Grand Floridian pool. Really cool. Take the kids over there. Got some food options here. If you want to grab a bite to eat while let your kids play in the large pool. The Enchanted Rose, kind of a side area that was blocked off that I couldn't really get into. Kind of, kind of peeked over the little blocked area there to kind of show y'all what we got going on here. It looks like for special events, maybe kind of bar esque and a side dinner, maybe for special occasions, whatnot. It's kind of cool as you can see. Kind of see the bar area in the far off corner over there. Some more of the decorations backdrop overlooking the top of the staircase there. Then we also, you know, went out into the balcony area overlooking, kind of see the monorail and then going towards there. Just an overall look of the hotel itself. Mouse Margarita. Yeah, it's so good at pronouncing stuff, right? <laughs> Just more Disney merchandise. Uh, perfect uh, opportunities to grab yourself a souvenir. If you so choose, you've been around my channel for quite some time. You know, I have so much Disney merchandise, it's not even funny. I didn't get anything this time around, but still plenty of stuff if you to choose to get something. The Monorail Station, 7 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Uh, it is on the loop of the Magic Kingdom. If you've ever been to Disney World, you know this. I've been on that monorail loop a thousand times, but this is the first time we actually got to stay in this hotel. Basan White. Basically, what you get here is... Uh, bath bombs and bath utensils and just soaps uh, whatnot um, why is this in a disney hotel i don't know i guess <laughs> you want to get you some bath bombs from a disney hotel resort there you go man 
go for it. What you know? I'm not mad at you. But cool to see. You know, it's part of the vlog. Here we are. Bibbidi Boppity Boutique. It was closed while we were there. It's where you go to get your princess's hair done. Go go for it, man. Uh, we have a Ferris wheel, a toy Ferris wheel, a toy. I don't know. So here it is. Cool. Then we have uh, the Victorian Alba, that famed restaurant that all of the big Disney content creators just feel the need to go and vlog to you know kind of separate themselves from everybody else. I ain't spending five hundred dollars for a meal. <laughs> That's just me, <laughs> you know? There's no food I've ever tasted in my life that's worth that, but you know, do you, bro. Uh, we got the Easter Bunny, uh, the Grand Cottage here, that's cool. Uh, we got the Garden View Lounge, another sealed off area for special events. But that's kind of the, the thing with this resort. It's just, it's cool, but it's kind of secluded. I feel like half of the resort is kind of sealed off from the general population for special events and uh, just i don't know other events that we're not invited to it is what it is i get it you know disney's got a brand to maintain to keep up but you know it's definitely something worth noting in this review of this resort uh, we did get a look at the arcade here that's cool that's if you follow my channel you know that's right in my alley gaming or whatnot pretty cool to see i mean at least a little bit of a small selection of the games that they had to offer there's some guitar hero action there that's pretty cool some nighttime action grand fluidity in the you know oh man i can't talk at all that's cool it's it's very gives off a different atmosphere at nighttime now the illuminated uh, ceilings and whatnot in the rooftops at night is super cool you can see Space Mountain and Tron and Cinderella Castle. And then, of course, the highlight of the Grand Floridian for sure is the fireworks from Happily Ever After that you can see uh, just from if you're seated at the right uh, hotel room, you can see the fireworks. And that is uh, super cool. So you go off down to the beach, whatnot as well. You can kind of get the soundtrack and the fireworks as well but we were able to see them from the particular room that we were in and that definitely was the highlight of the grand floridian stay okay with all that said it's time for some brutal honesty usually if you're not on the disney vacation club this hotel ranges from 500 to 800 dollars a night do i think it's worth that absolutely not not in a million years no <laughs> go stay at palm century or the animation resort or one of the all-stars it ain't worth that brother your sisters <laughs> i'm here to tell you i'm just you know i'm just being honest man it was cool to experience one night you know do i ever have any desire to ever stay at this resort again no like i said the highlight of the stay for me was definitely seeing happily ever after from this balcony view that was super cool other than that, I, mean, I just, it was kind of boring. The colors were just very plain. The atmosphere was super chill. If you're looking for a sort of normal, chill, no kid vacation, sure. But, you know, I have a seven year old, so I'm looking for fun, adventure, you know, so on and so forth. That's what I'm looking for. This didn't have it. Now, that's just me talking to my casual, you know, vacationers that's not really dead serious about Disney World. Now, if I'm talking to my diehard, you know, Disney Vacation Club members, my Disney diehards, yeah, the the, the Grand Floridian Resort, at least one night, it's, your, it's on your bucket list. You know, give it a night, give it a try, see what you think. You know, it's worth doing at least one night to you know, formulate your own opinion to see what you you think overall experience wasn't for me personally I, I like a little bit more you know wild fun and my vacation style but if you're just looking for that chill laid back experience you know this might be for you especially if you don't have any young children but hey that's just you know somebody looking from the outside in. I've, I've never stayed at this resort before i didn't really try any of the food even just the quick service i didn't spend 500 dollars for a victorian alba so yeah you, you gotta take that to an account as well but just the resort in itself overall just eh, just a meh all right cool i did it yay let's move on <laughs>
That's how I feel about it, man. So, all right, that's going to do it. What I want to know now, how do y'all feel? Have you ever stayed here? If you have, let me know. How did you feel about it? Did you love it? Is it the best Disney hotel in existence? Personally, I think that still belongs to the Wilderness Lodge. I think that's the best resort on property. But Grand Floridian, even though it's the flagship hotel for Disney World, eh, you know, I think it's a little bit overrated, man. It's just my two cents. Okay. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. You can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack79. I am also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I love these parks. I love these resorts. Me and myself and my family, we have over 15 years of Disney experience. So you are definitely in the right place for a small content creator that just happens to like doing Disney content. For somebody that actually flies out to Orlando that actually vacations here, you're in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, my friends, uh, love you guys. Thanks for the support. And I see y'all on the next one. Catch y'all later. Bye.